Hi guys, such a nice weather today and I have a great product for you which I'd like to introduce to you. It's the new Rhino Side Planner SL. And SL stands for what? Stands for super light. It just weighs 135 grams, so it's really light and that's nice if you want to have no weight on your tackle when you fish with a side planner to the side of your boat. So nice and light and at the same time very robust and in the water. So it doesn't dive in waves, it's not splashing, it's not diving when you let it out and it's uh, creating not too much pressure on your rod. At the same time it runs really high in your setup and uh, that is ensured for instance by this plastic lip, this angled plastic lip because that creates additional pressure and the light weight comes from the foam board. A very special thing on this side planner SL is the aluminium arm which is connected with uh, the clip, the main clip at the front and that's the Osprey clip from Yellowbird. It's the only clip which we actually know which can hold both monoline and braid at the same time. So and as more people use braid I think that's brilliant to use it. And at the rear you have the proven Rhino clip, that's the one with a pin in the center, so you secure your uh, side planner with that clip on the line and with that you put it in position while you play it, uh, you, while you let it out and when you hook a fish it gets free from the base body of the clip and uh, the side planner folds backwards. So that's it, the pair looks like that, right and left side, very nice and easy actually looking nice but it doesn't come like that to your shop uh, it would be very space consuming so before you can fish it you need to do a bit So guys, now I'm showing you how to set the side planner SL. So first you rig the lure as usual, you strip out the line. In my case it's the top shot which, you, which uh, goes approximately 20 meter. Then I have a connection piece where the braid follows. On this connection piece I will set the lead paraban. Then I have always the correct distance, so here's the connection piece. Here it is. Now I take, come on, take my lead paravan, the rhino paravan onto the line, push it in, ready. Now I strip out some more line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it uh, depends on fishing style and condition. Uh, approximately 20 meter normally does it. Salmon trolling often a bit longer. Once you have stripped it out, you're ready to set the side planner. You grip the line, you have your side planner. So now you fix the side planner on the line. First step is you take the rear clip. The rear clip is the rhino one with the pin inside. So put the line behind the pin so you never can lose the side planner. Then you need to put the line into the front pin and the front pin has this little groove and put the line into the groove and then into the base body of the clip squeeze it in and it's ready to be let out simple as that you can put it simply in the back of the boat no problem and then you put the rod in the rod holder that's it I'm catching right now a garfish. That's something what the salmon anglers normally don't like because if you have too many garfish, it's really hard to continue fishing. If you have a few like today, it's not too bad. And actually, garfish are really nice in the smoker. 
uh, they taste like a smoked eel, but you can digest them much better. They're not as heavy. So, but this one I think is a bit small. I should have put the flag away. So it's a bit small. So he may grow bigger. So, and uh, cause some trouble on Europe next time.